everybody, Matt here with Big Red Liquors, and today I am going to call this little book uh, from Jim Beam the best whiskey that I have tasted in 2017. Uh, every every uh, every time this year, uh, I, I start to get some of these special releases in. BTAC comes in, Pappy comes in, all that stuff, uh, and and start to circle around the idea of what really is. What really is one of the best whiskeys I've had in 2017? I've had a lot of fantastic ones. There's been a lot of really nice releases. Uh, despite prices still going up, despite uh, demand still being high, supply being low, uh, and really uh, wish we had so much more of this to sell because uh, this really is uh, the best whiskey that I have tasted in 2017. So a little bit of info. Uh, little Book is uh, Jim Beam. Little Book is just the nickname of Freddie Jr. So there was Booker No, Fred No, Freddie Jr., grandson of Booker No, who is now heavily involved uh, in this process. And this is one of his first uh, on his own releases of whiskey. And uh, this is any indication of the projects that are going to follow this guy around. Uh, I think we're in uh, for a treat because... Uh, whether it was 100% Freddy or the, the Beam team or a combination of all those people, whoever came up with this, kudos to you because uh, it is absolutely gorgeous, stunning, delicious, tasty, all-around best whiskey I've tasted in 2017. Uh, it's a blend of straight whiskeys, uh, so that's different. Uh, it's got uh, four-year bourbon, it's got some 12-year corn whiskey, it's got some six-year rye, and it's got some six-year... Uh, malt whiskey as well. So uh, the nice part about that is I've, I've tasted versions of blends of straight whiskey. Um, people are going to start doing it more uh, with American whiskey because you can take components, uh, things that maybe you don't have a ton of straight bourbon whiskey to support one brand, but you can create blends uh, and, and it's something that uh, you're going to start seeing more and more of out there in the market. But uh, I think Beam is uh, first to the punch here with something serious, and serious indeed because the depth and complexity of the nose uh, and, the, and the flavor profile, it all just sort of comes together. Um, so a lot of sweet corn notes, caramel corn. You do get that mintiness. You do get that herbaceousness on the nose. Um, this is 128.2 proof, um, uncut, unfiltered. I think like all the, like all the Booker's releases. And Booker's, you know, they've been trying to do these, you know, outline these different releases, and I, I never quite thought that that was the best idea because they're so rare and limited. It's like if you even found one you like, you really can't buy it again. And um, I don't know, it, it felt. It felt confusing to the consumer, but there's really nothing confusing about this. It's a completely new, innovative item that tastes great. I mean, it's as simple as that. And, oh man, just so rich and powerful, even on the nose. Let's try it. Mmm. You gotta really process this slow because of the proof. Um, that real like foxy Jim Beam yeast strain, that is like the fun of the party. And then below that are all the very serious layers of flavor. Chocolate, that cocoa, that orange, that, that vanilla is there. Um, there's a maltiness, maltiness and a biscuit quality from the single malt. There's a really nice high spice rye finish um, right there at the end. Um, wow. Oh man. So I would say that this is the first release from Jim Beam um, that uh, stands really toe to toe with the yearly BTAC and Pappy releases. Uh, from Sazerac, and in a couple of instances, tops them. I don't want to say which ones, but uh, this is a absolutely hardcore, 
serious release from Jim Beam. Um, and I'm just, I'm really actually very surprised because uh, they've tried with the different Knob Creek releases and all this other stuff, and some of it very high priced, masterpiece, all these different things. I feel like this is the first one where all those ideas have finally come together and, and it's, it's coherent. Uh, the quality is so high. Uh, it's just, it's just fantastic, super delicious whiskey. So I can't really say more than that. So cheers to them and uh, just make a whole bunch more so we can sell it. It's really good. Cheers.